Hello, this is Megavoltaic, and I'm going to be teaching you guys how to truly take the potential of your Intel HD 3000 setup. Um, a lot of people don't have a lot of don't have very good game performance when using their Intel HD based computer, whether it be a desktop or a laptop. Um, but a lot of the times, it's just simple things that really limit the power of the game that you're trying to run. Um, for an example, I have Minecraft running right here, and from my testing, I remember this having problems. Notice how it's lagging, like, out of control. The FPS goes down to, like, 4 FPS sometimes. It's just completely abysmal. But, and I see people playing games like this, and I'm sitting there saying, the game can run so much better. <coughs> and that's what I'm going to be showing you guys how to do today. I'm going to be showing you how to basically get your FPS from this to about 30, 40 FPS most of the time. Um, depending on the game, it will do drastic changes, or it will do not too many changes, but either way, it will boost your performance. And so, it's going to be an amazing tutorial, full of wonderment. So, let me get out of this. Um, I remember from recording this that... While I was recording, it was so bad that my voice was starting to go out. And so in the video, my voice probably did go out. That just proves my point. So um, some of this, I'm not going to be showing you one step and then simply saying, oh, that's how you fix it. Like, oh, you just get a game booster and that fixes it. That, that's not what fixes it. Although it helps, it's not the best thing. There are other things. Um, so I'm going to start from the basics and then I'm going to work my way up to the more advanced techniques. So, um, here you see my desktop. It's pretty nice. It's pretty stable. Everything is here. Um, the first thing that you want to do is first make sure that your power plan is set up just fine. Um, by clicking the taskbar, power, power button, whatever, more power options, you can see all the power plans that you have. Um, High performance is definitely the one that you want because you want high performance, but you also want to make sure that the settings are just fine. Um, make sure that your graphics card is listed as doing maximum performance no matter what scenario. Make sure your CPU, the minimum and the maximum should be 100% for both of them if you're trying to get that whole battery life thing. Because chances are if you use your computer mobile, then... You, you're going to use the power saver option and not the high performance option. Um, if you own a desktop, the same goes for you because the same settings are here as well. Um, just basically look through it and see if there's any settings that deal with um, performance of your computer and just make sure that it's on max. So, now that we have that done, high performance is ticked. The next thing that you want to do is go into your task manager and see if you have any one of the two um, services here. Now I've already, oh okay, I, I did not install it, that's interesting. Um, there are two programs that normally get on computers of people who play games and they are Akamai Net Session Interface and Pando Media Booster. I installed the latter so it's not going to be here, but Akamai Net so that session interface will also be there. Um, you want to go into your control panel, click Programs, and install both. Um, because I only have one, I'll just install one. But the Pando Media Browser is the other thing that you want to uninstall. And those tend to sip on your network. They, set, they tend to, to sip on your uh, network connection. And the ends tend to sip on your performance a little bit and is an underlying cause of the tiny FPS drops that you get, but we're not there just yet. The FPS drops are because of something else, and we'll be getting to that shortly. So, once you un uninstall both of, both of those, um, and I apologize for my bad speaking, I have a lisp and it's really hard for me to talk. Um, the next thing that you want to do is 
make sure that your graphics card is um, max out everything in terms of performance. Now, if you care for quality, then you don't need to do this next step. But if you're one of those people that just wants more FPS out of the game, then you might want to listen. Well, that was very demanding. Okay. Anyway, so while you're in the menu, um, click 3D. Make sure the slider is all the way on performance. Um, custom sh settings isn't really needed, so just leave that unticked, and application optimal mode should be ticked. Um, also, under power, make sure that under plugged in is maximum performance, and on battery, huh, well, I am just failing all over the place, aren't I? Performance. <laughs> Mind you, a lot of these changes I'm making right now, I honestly did not know my computer was under, so it's a good thing I'm doing this video. Um, and slide this all the way to quality. Yes. Additionally, while you're here, make sure that you have the latest version of your graphics card. Because those the having the latest drivers always improves your computer. Um, the one I have right now is 917-10-2792. Get the one that, that's more pertaining to the time that you're watching this video and you'll be fine. Okay. So now that we've done all that, let's keep going. The next thing that we need to do is, um, and this is going to start getting more, more and more complicated, um, a game booster, if you will. Now, there are plenty of different game boosters that you can use. There is game booster, but I don't, te I don't really like using game booster simply for the fact that even though it does a lot of things that it says it does, it, it puts your battery mode on gaming mode power plan and the bad thing about gaming mode power plan is that it tends to remove all those settings that you put on high performance one and then two you can't save the settings that you put in game gaming mode power plan so even though you could set it one time if you try to put your computer in the game booster again it'll go back to gaming mode and erase all the changes you made so if you are going to use game booster which i do recommend because it's a decent program just make sure that you switch your power plan back to high performance However, if you don't even want to do all of that, you could use a program I like using. It's called Tune-Up Utilities, and it has a nice nifty little turbo button that you can simply click. It has just about the same effect as Game Booster, although it's not as customized. But then again, I don't really need the customizations. If you would like the customizations, there's Game Booster. If you want something more streamlined, there's uh, Tune-Up Utilities. They'll both do the same thing. Once you click it, It'll go and start doing its thing. It'll start disabling all the things that you don't need, like the print spooler and some camera scanner and your uh, and the arrow glass theme on Windows 7. Those, those are all things that play huge roles in the FPS that you get. So that's going to finish. And yes, your computer will revert to Windows 98 looking windows and whatnot, but the more FPS, the better. It doesn't really matter. So now that we're done with that, the uh, next step that you want to begin to take, um, we're going to start getting more and more complicated, like I said before. Um, it doesn't Because the Intel HD3000 is a memory-based card, it uses shared memory, it's not the best card out there. It definitely is not. But ways to give it more space to roam is by allocating it more memory out of your hard drive. And to do that, we go to, I'm, I should have been explaining this. Right click computer, click properties, and you'll end up, he you'll end up here. I, I ate a giant cup of soup and I think I'm about to get, get hiccups. Um, click advanced system settings. Go under, where is it? Per performance settings. Go to Advanced, Change, and click Custom Size, and then you're going to type in the initial and the maximum. Here I used 8,000 and 10,000, and, and it did definitely boost my FPS quite a bit, so I recommend that you try it out. Um, it may not have the same results for everyone, but yeah. Okay. Um, my final step is a step that I do all the time. And when I found this out, 
it just completely blew my mind on how much it boosted the games I had. Um, before games that before games that I would run, but run fine or okay, but they would run with constant FPS drops, and it was just completely just annoying all over the place. This next program will boost your FPS and eliminate the FPS drops that you get. The periodical ones, anyway. And this program is called Throttle Stop. Let me close down all these things. Um, I will put a link to Throttle Stop in the description below. But um, Throttle Stop... The way Intel CPUs work, whenever they feel like they're burdened in any way possible, they will deter themselves. Um, and that's where your FPS drops come from. Because your CPU feels like, ah, you're stressing me too much, it'll just stop it just a little bit. But because you have a high performance, your CPU is already being stressed, but the throttling is basically just impacting performance. Now, doing this next step does require a little bit of a disclaimer here. Um, because you are essentially maxing out your card, I recommend that you make sure your computer has decent ventilation. It's not that it will get hotter, it's just that it's going to get more burdened, and if your computer doesn't have great ventilation, it, it could definitely do some damage to your computer. Um, don't do this if you don't know what you're doing. If you're fine with doing it, fine. It's definitely worth the risk. I've been using it for about six months now, and I haven't had a problem. But again, the results can vary. So we're going to go and double click on throttle stop. And here, you see my settings for it. Um, originally, when you get the program, all of these settings will be unchecked. So I'm going to uncheck them just to show you. All of the settings will be unchecked, and it will be running normally. Um, to do this, what you need to do is make, check the three of these. Make sure that these are both at 100, and make sure this is the highest you could get it. The i3 processors will stop around this number. Um, the i5 and i7 will stop at Turbo, I think it is. And um, that's when you start using the Turbo Boost feature that the i5 and i7 have. Additionally, you want to check the EIST, C1E, and BD Pro Shot. Um, make sure that you turn it on. This will say Turn On, and then click Save. This way, when you this way, every time you boot up Thrall Stop, this will already be on. You don't have to click Turn On. You don't have to click Save. And then um, just minimize it. It will go inside the taskbar right here. And that will eliminate a lot of FPS drops that you get playing any game at all. And it has definitely made me go and reinstall games that I uninstalled because they didn't run well. And now they run fantastic. Um, it was definitely a lifesaver for me. So, yeah. Alright, so we're in the game. And... Now, remember that additionally, because I'm recording this, um, it, does play a to it does play a toll on the uh, performance. But the FPS has greatly improved. It went from the 10 range, dropping down to 3, to about 17. Now, you're probably saying, yeah, that's bad. But throughout the test, just to make it more practical, I may have uh, shifted my distance view to normal. If you put it on short, it definitely runs better. And again, I say, because this recorder is running in the background, and because I'm recording my whole screen, um, it's, play it's sort of, it's not very the most, it's not the most indi indicative, but the FPS does, on average, go around 30, 30 to 40, um, and that's with me using Optifine, and it definitely improves it. And as you notice, unlike the last recording, I'm not having those weird FPS drops, my last recording may have had my voice all grumbled up sometimes. That's not happening because now my CPU can handle recording my entire screen and Minecraft. Um, and it definitely was for the better. Um, applying all of these fixes will definitely boost the performance of your, of your uh, laptop, of your Intel HD 3000 setup. 
and will allow you to run much more intricate games. So anyway, this has been Megavoltaic, and I will now make a crafting table to commemorate me doing this video. I will see you all at some point in my life. Crafting table. Done. Bye, everybody.